This last part of the course will discuss systems of equations and how to solve them. Our first topic is two by two systems, meaning I have two equations and two unknowns. So let's see some examples of a two by two system. I could have x plus y equals one and x minus y equals two. When I put this brace here in front, that means the values for x and y in the first equation also have to satisfy the second equation. So the x and y values in here have to also work in the second equation. You can plot these two equations. These are two linear equations, they're two lines. So you could plot the two lines individually and where the two lines cross is the x and y coordinate that we're looking for. So the first line is x plus y equals 1. You can plot that. You get a diagonal line that looks like this, I guess. So there's x plus y equals 1. And you could plot x minus y is equal to 2. I believe that will be a line that goes this way. So we're trying to identify this coordinate, this xy pair. There are a couple of methods that you can use to solve two by two linear systems. The first is known as the substitution method. So we can solve via substitution. And the substitution method asks you to first solve for one variable. So take one of the equations, like the top equation, and solve it for x or y. So solve for one variable, second, you substitute, you substitute that variable into the second equation. and solve. And the last step in this process is to back substitute to find both variables x and y. So if I follow this process on this two by two system, then step one says I can write x as equal to 1 minus y. So I just took this top equation and subtracted y on both sides. Step two would be substitute this x into the second equation. So if I do that, I get 1 minus y, see that's my x, minus another y is equal to 2. So I can now solve this equation pretty easily for y. If you do, you'll get 1 minus 2y is equal to 2. You could subtract 1 on both sides. You could divide by negative 2. I believe you get y is equal to negative 1 half. So I'm halfway done. I need to know both x and y. In step 3, you could find x by back substituting. Now what I mean by that is you take this solution you found for y and you back substitute it back into the equation in step 1. So now I know that x is equal to 1 minus negative one-half, which would be three-halves. So now I know x and y. This kind of matches my picture. It does appear that over at 1.5 or three-halves, my x-coordinate lies, and y seems to be in about negative one-half. So that's one method on how to solve a two-by-two two linear system. There's also a second method that I'd like to illustrate with this example. Let's suppose I have two x, let's say minus 3y is equal to 0, and x plus y equals 1. We could plot the two lines and see where they intersect. So one line, I guess one line is the same line I had before. One line goes down like this. So there's x plus y equals 1. And the other line will cross through 0, 0, because I see if x and y are both 0, this equation is true. 
and go up at a certain slope. So it goes up like this. So we're looking for the coordinate that crosses both of these lines. We can solve via elimination. So elimination is a second approach. Let me give you a step-by-step -step process. Again, three steps. I'm going to first multiply one equation by a constant we want to multiply by the correct constant we want one equation to have c times x so maybe two times x in one equation and the second equation we want negative cx I'll show you what I mean more carefully with this first step when we follow through with the example. But before we do that, let me write down the second two steps. Now I'm going to add the two equations together and solve. And the third step is to back substitute to find both x and y. OK. Let's follow through these steps to finish the video. Step one is I'm going to multiply the second equation by a constant so that I get cx in the first equation, in that case 2x, and negative cx in the other. So the first equation is going to stay the same, but the second equation is going to be negative 2x minus 2y is negative 2. Notice I multiplied everything by negative 2. Now, step two says, add the two equations together. So if I add these two equations together, I'll get 2x minus 2x. Those will cancel. I'll have negative 3y minus 2y, so negative 5y's, should equal 0 plus negative 2. So in other words, y is equal to 2 fifths. So now I know y. And step three is back substitute. Now that I know why, I could back substitute into either one of these two equations. I'll pick the second one here because it seems a little bit easier. So I'm going to back substitute into the second equation to get x plus 2 fifths equals 1. And I believe you can solve that. And x is 1 minus 2 fifths or 3 fifths. So now I have both x and y. So these are two methods to solve 2 by 2 linear systems. The substitution method is great, most students love that, but the elimination method is what will generalize more easily to higher systems that have more than two equations or two unknowns. All right, wonderful.